everyone and welcome back to the 30 38th part tutorial of how to model basketball court arena where we will continue with our basketball court basketball hoop <laughs> and yeah this time what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna start uh, building up here uh, the screws so I add two configurations that I think that are can fit here though one of them I will actually do and the other one I will just theoret theoretically will explain and if you want to do it that way then just prepare yourself to do whatever uh, you need uh, to make it done anyway um, I'm gonna add two edge loops here on top of this let's isolate this okay shift right click insert edge loop and as I already told you at uh, the part 37 um, if I will add edge loop here right now okay so it will go the same as earlier over here now we will deal with it okay but right now just be aware that this one followed this side here and the reason it's because here it's still connected and everything is okay so nothing broke this um, loop and I'm gonna add one more edge here okay I'm trying to match create some kind of a even cube here so let's undo that and let's create this a little bit lower and with that done we already have over too much edges here so basically we already have frame so if you take those faces it's like a frame and we have this edge here that basically supporting this one but it's still another one that hold this one from going anywhere else okay so everything here maintained we can extract this area and create a hole here so what I will do uh, we're gonna yeah we're gonna right click choose vertex I'm gonna grab this vert no sorry we're gonna go over multi cut tool and we're gonna click here here and there and of course it can be you know perfect X because some things here are not the same but anyway we've done this and I press F8 and I'm gonna add two more edge loops here well you know what later on let's um, right click choose vertex let's grab this vertex shift right click chamfer it okay while you chamfer it you can see here those three just a little bit away from this one so I'm gonna grab those three vertices switch to move tool and just bring them home a little bit that way so it will be somewhat equal I will grab I will grab this uh, selection tool is better and I grab those and I will simply expand them that way and expand this that way just a little bit okay now it looks like these two should go down but let's grab those now those four and we will tweak them as well so something like so something like so and press three let's press one right click choose face let's delete this face press three let's see how this circle looks like so it's nice and we can double click on this edge and expand it a little bit try to make sure that this edge and this edge at least are in the center so that way so you see at least the center ones the vertical and or horizontal vertical horizontal are <laughs> straight and sorry for being retarded um, yeah let's press three three our circle is a little bit looks fat from one of those sides I mean I'm gonna grab those three and bring them back home okay I moved something there I just noticed it so undo that and grab those all over and bring them home press three now the circle is ah, somewhat okay I guess no harm could happen if you add one more edge there, but try to avoid more edges. It's just 
waste of time. You know what? Let's do a nice work. Let's let's delete. Let's uh, I don't know. Let's add edge. Let's see what will happen if I will add edge here. Nothing. Nothing happened. So I can grab this edge, double click on it, <coughs> try to grab everyth everything because uh, those this lines are basically broke the opportunity that you can uh, double click on one and it will select everything. It won't, hap it won't happen. So shift right click, slide edge and or oh, no, no, it just move to this time and move it that way. All right, that's much better. So now if I will press three, this area is maintained. I don't want to add one more edge loop here. I will simply lose it. So leave it. I will have to start deal with other things that uh, I shouldn't worry about. So <laughs> right click, choose this face. Um, oh yeah, you need to <coughs> at this point you need to un um, wait sorry okay <coughs> I'm really sorry my throat and cigarettes just killing my voice anyway back here now what I talked about uh, what I started to talk about is decisions so we need to make a decision here Either we want holes here, and then we will screw something that looks like, uh, I don't know, a bolt and a screw or whatever. Either we can simply um, grab this edge here, okay, that way, and extrude it <coughs> and create just the pin that goes through here. So what I'm talking about, I'm going to save this file for a second, okay? This is 31, right? I'm going to, well, I'm going to save it as 33 because I already have 32. I'm going to save it for a second as, no, 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 33. Save as, oh, I'm clicking on 2, save, okay? I'm going to open 32. So you can see what I already done. Now, what happened is I created this part of the, tutor of the tutorial. And what happened is that for some reason, uh, there were static, um, I don't know, noises on my uh, voice recording. And it was for the whole part. And I had to redo this, unfortunately. So anyway, <coughs> 32, I'm going to open this. No, I don't want to save 33. I already saved it, and I'm going to show you what I'm wha what I was explaining. You can either create this that way, so <coughs> it's like we have a screw that inserted here, okay, like it's inserted, and we have two bolts that here, okay. So I will grab them back. So either you will do something such as this, and then when we will assemble the next part, we will be able to. Um, just create, copy this bolt and put it from the other side, like it was a screw. But I will make it, uh, I think, maybe a little bit more bigger or something. <coughs> anyway, you need to make a choice, whatever you like. If you like to do this that way, I'm all good with that. If you don't, uh, that's also good. Uh, we can either do it even from one unit. You can grab all the vertices here from this side of the plate and pull it just a little bit more, create something that looks in the middle like it was uh, two plates and extrude the rest here. So entirely up to you, whatever you want to do, just do it. But I'm going to do this right now. Um, I think like that way, it just something tells me that that's good. You know what? No, I will. Un I won't do this that way. I will just already show you how to do this with and so we basically created holes and that's all uh, I need to make up my mind already so <coughs> let's get back to 33 no don't save okay so instead of grabbing this and extruding it as you already seen 
what we're going to do is we're going to right click choose face double click on this face and we're going to duplicate this duplicate okay press f8 three times to get rid of this gizmo control to unselect this <coughs> and bring this baby here modify center pivot bring this down here okay now I'm gonna press ctrl D again to duplicate this I'm gonna hold down the V key and move it over the other side here and you see it snapped over here and immediately normal and reverse okay I'm gonna press F8 three two times control D again and this time I will bring that one back up here where this should be okay now don't worry about this we will patch this no dude come here <coughs> stay here don't move okay now down here I need to add uh, one edge loops uh, two edge loops so shift right click insert edge loop I'm gonna add one edge loop here nice and done and one here okay right click face let's grab this face this face this face and delete them <coughs> I'm gonna do the same here delete and do the same here okay and delete press F8 let's grab this one now I'm right clicking on the background so vertices grab those same procedure as I always do okay shrink them a little bit move to the next one do it do the same on the background right click vertices grab this grab grab those grab shrink this a little bit move to the next one <coughs> press f8 sorry right click on the background something somewhere grab those grab those grab these shrink them press f8 now grab the main body shift select this one Shift, select this one, shift, select this one, mesh, combine, <coughs> and let's patch this. So merge vertex tool, and let's go on with this here. Is it patched here? Yeah, that's good. Patch this, patch that, patch this, that. And this, okay. We're only doing one side because we're gonna get rid of half cut and mirror this again. So, this done. <coughs> and now, this here. I almost forgot about this. I was sure that I was done. Throw something here. Wait, why things have to go wrong? That way, that way, this way. Okay, press F8. Now, right click, choose edge, <coughs> double click on this edge, double click on this edge. Ah, not this edge. Okay. Go over down here. Shift double click on this edge. Shift double click on this edge. Now, go over extrude. Switch to scale tool. And let's squeeze them all at once. So, this blue one to this bluish one. Okay. Immediately release. Release this. Shift sorry control right click two vertices and two vertices again <coughs> this will convert your selection from edges to vertices I have to 
Okay, I'm back. So with that done, I'm gonna go over Edit Mesh, Merge Component. Let's hope that these have been patched. For some good reason, they haven't because this is really not even close to each other. So let's hope that those there have been patched down here. This car alarm is just freaking me out. Well, yeah, they, those like look like they've been patched. So what? What's up with the upper ones, which is the real original copy? I'm not sure. Um, this car alarm is like doing this almost. I think three times a week but in most cases they will shut it off right away one time they haven't been here <coughs> those neighbors and imagine yourself sitting and hearing this for about more than six hours you wanna just take a break a brick and smash the car see just speak violent and like their car alarm is hearing you. I love this Merge Vertex tool. I think it's one of the best tools in Maya. <coughs> but I don't like the camera. Oh, come on. I'm just clicking here on one point and trying to figure out where the other point. When I see it, I just release and they are snapping to each other. So, see it that way. I try not to grab others. Let's press 3 just to see if everything is patched there. And let's see at the bottom here what's going on. Press F8, press 1 to exit move preview. Let's isolate this. This is just bummering. <coughs> okay, so this has been done, okay? And that's all good, though we want to fix this there. Remember, still need to take care of everything here. So you see when we created those edges they appeared here and they just simply stopped at this area so it's very simple you just need to multi cut tool and zoom in zoom in please not that close click here click and drag here release and right click click here click here release and that's all good. And you see where it is? I, I want to try and do something here about that. Like something like that can be nice. I mean, whenever you create edges, you want to maintain the flow, and the flow is very important. So, the flow, lo not like tunneling them, I mean more of the flow of the shape. You need to make sure that the flow of the shape uh, represented by the way that the edges or the subdivs or I don't know how to call them, isoparms or whatever, uh, <coughs> just follow the same way. Now, in this case, it doesn't follow anything, so I'm pretty... Uh, depressed about this but well as long that it works out so that's good we don't care much about this no one will see the wireframes at the end of the job you know and everything they will see will be covered with texture or whatever yeah I've sold an item okay <coughs> so um, this done that's done down there 
we need uh, to add two offset edge loops that I forgot, almost forgot. Now, if the offset edge loops are, uh, you see them completely there, that means that the middle here is patched correctly. Okay? Otherwise, if not, it, you wouldn't see entire circles there. Press F8, let's grab our object. Let's see. Let's press 3 and have a look at this. Cool. I'm gonna delete half cut of this. Right click, choose face. I don't need this half cut. Making sure that I'm only grabbing half cut. Nothing more than that. <coughs> and delete it. <coughs> Sorry. My I'm sitting like in front of the computer and smoking all the time while I'm creating tutorials and in between and as much as I'm smoking more my throat is just uh, getting more sick anyway shift right click uh, in object mode of course mirror polygon mirror options uh, negative X I assume apply close uh, if you will try, I want to make sure that you know something. If you will try go and do mirror option, mirror polygon, and you will use any of those, okay? It will merge some of your edges. Don't try this. Go only with the mirror options. Thank you. And now I will again find the middle, right click, vertices, grab everything here in the middle. Hope for good. Let's turn on the x-ray to see what's going on there, inside, anywhere else, so I don't grab some things that I don't need. Inside there are grabbed, these as well. <coughs> now, I need, I must pose for a second. Okay, move here, back, and turn off the x-ray. Now. Some of the, uh, it, you know, some of the edges are very ne near to each other, therefore many of the connections are still very, very close to each other. You want to make sure that you are merging the, them correctly. Again, I will use this lower settings because this is what last time worked, so close. And I think it will be bold for me not to check this, I mean, I can always have mistakes doesn't matter if I already used those settings and it went good <coughs> I have no idea always assume that you can have problems there okay all right uh, it's better to press 3 because while you are pressing 3 everything is stretched so you can also see any open areas, but you can also see wrong connections that have been made. So I guess that you don't have always to zoom in that much. Okay, you see the car alarm is just a problem. Um, <coughs> the next thing which I want you to do is I want you to create uh, right away two bolts, okay? Let's create a polygon pipe. It should be somewhere here. Oh, I need to unisolate and press F. I'm gonna change the, to this tab on the attribute editor and make it six. Press enter, right click, choose edge, double click on this edge, shift double click on this edge, shift right click, bevel edge options. You wanna make sure that, well, Click apply, okay, close, press F8 two times, it will bring you back to object mode and from the poly bevel, change the friction to something like that, okay. Now, on earlier versions, I didn't had to use the friction and I'm not sure that it's been there as well, but <coughs> for some reason it's there now, so uh, we will use this. And, I mean, the offset is really important, I mean, uh, but it's 
looks like it's doing just the same so no need to worry about that too much now the only problem that there is here is you need to make sure that this uh, matches the diameter of your uh, of the holes uh, you know the holes that we have there so <clears throat> I know for sure that this bolt is um, fits there so I don't need to make any changes but you please do this okay please make sure that uh, before you beveling you come here before again before you beveling make sure that the diameter of your holes is fit to this okay now I know that it fits so no need to really do anything at least for me um, I'm gonna put it here I'm gonna face it there and just think of that that these are not going to be smooth preview okay and because they are not going to be smooth preview <coughs> because we need this to look sharp like a bolt so a bolt bolt so I'm gonna just bring it very near here control D to duplicate this move it just very near to each other like so and I'm gonna rotate this so hold down the J and rotate this just a little bit so it will look random Control D to duplicate both of them. I'm gonna move those up here and yeah I'm using this edge here because I didn't rotate this one so this edge is showing me that it points to this edge and I know that it's exactly where it should be and now I can well I can copy this and move it over there to the other side oh well I will undo that and uncopy them I will grab those two and those two at the same time control D now duplicate them basically and move them at the same time over here okay just making sure it's in front of the hole <coughs> and that's all good okay so it's not like the, the other one. What we will do here is basically we will ins insert a pin or screw there, but not at this time, not at this moment, okay? We will start build the uh, the other part that connected to here and connected over there, and then <coughs> everything will be fine. Now, what's good about what I showed you here is that you can... Uh, do the same here. I mean, whenever we will need to amount this uh, new thing that goes here, uh, here you should have more screws and stuff like that. So you can use the same technique to just add those as like they were coming from this side. Okay? So really, just choose a way. I think both of them are okay as long as you know how to do them. So I'm going to save this. <coughs> as 34 for me save as sorry for the car alarm sorry for my throat is just killing me here and I will meet you at the next part tutorial and till day until then have a good day